First, I want to say happy Juneteenth. And then I want to say happy Pride. Those of you that don't know me, a little backstory is I'm from Albany. Uh, I live in Schenectady. And I'm a trans male. Uh, I've been transitioning for about four or five years now. Um, and when I was living in Albany, I, you know, came out as trans, I started transitioning, and I ended up being homeless. Uh, I went to local uh, DSS in Albany, and they told me that because I'm transgender that they couldn't help me. That ain't right! That ain't right! Um, so, they told me either I can't, they weren't going to give me a hotel room because it was summertime, and I could just, you know, sleep in the park because it's summer. That ain't right! That ain't right! So, uh, you know, that impacted me a lot. Um, luckily, I, and for those of you that haven't seen Pose, um, I'm in a house uh, called House Precise. Uh, my house mother, London, uh, she's a act, uh, trans woman, she's an activist out in Albany, and she took me in, uh, let me stay with her, she didn't even know me, and basically helped me get on my feet and to where I am now. Um, London has t taken in a lot of trans or LGBTQ youth um, over the years, so uh, she's been trying to build this community or an environment where LGBTQ people can come and feel uh, important and safe. Unfortunately, the mayors in these cities in the capital region, they know that there are no LGBTQ shelters or community centers for the LGBTQ community. That ain't right. That ain't right. It's been it's been years, and there's only one shelter uh, in Albany, or I think it's like Troy. It's Interfaith, and they have a bedroom in there that looks like a closet that's used for trans people. That ain't right. That ain't right. Um, so, last year, you know, we were, uh, you know, protesting every year, and a good friend of, uh, of mine, Dan Harris, he was like, Legacy, if not you, who would do it? Who would make an environment, a shelter, a community center for the trans people, for LGBTQ people? If not you, who? So January 1st of this year, I decided that I am no longer going to work for anyone else, but I am going to work for the community. So I developed, I developed Safe Haven. Um, it's going to be located in Schenectady. Uh, Dustin um, Wright, he's a clergy member in Schenectady. He, he let me use his basement to put the community center uh, for Safe Haven. So we will have a community center for LGBTQ plus people. <laughs> then also, we, me and him, we discussed a lot of things. And on that property, he will be building safe and affordable housing for the LGBTQ community. Guys, transgender and gender non-conforming LGBTQ youth, uh, primarily people of color, primarily, like I said, trans youth, um, because no shelters except trans people, not like the city mission, not anything like that. Um, this will be a safe place for sex workers. Uh, sex work is real work. And, uh, Sex work needs to be decriminalized, and uh, we will also help trans uh, LGBTQ uh, veterans, um, LGBTQ elderly. Um, so this is not just an environment where only a specific race can come. Um, Non-binary people are valid. Um, Non-binary non people are trans people, and they deserve to be recognized and have a safe place to come where they don't feel outcasted because someone feels like there's only one way to be transgender and non-binary isn't a real thing. So uh, Chandler was uh, handling, handing out these pamphlets. Um, I have a few more. I have to, you know, give some out when I'm in Albany, but you know, 
I can only do this with the support of the community. Uh, this shelter and community center is going to be accessible to everyone in the capital region. So that includes you uh, queer people out here in Saratoga. You guys can come out to Schenectady and Albany and, you know, have fun. We, in, in, the ba in the basement, we have a studio. So I know there's a lot of uh, a recording studio. So I know there's a lot of creative LGBTQ youth. Um, I'm, I also developed a queer talent uh, talent agency. Um, Admiral, yeah, Admiral and I are going to be uh, holding an event soon where everyone that's queer can come and get uh, have headshots and we will be producing short films. Um, if you do music, you can come to the studio to do music um, and just have like a great time. Um, I can only do this with the help of the community. Uh, the mayors know that there aren't any uh, places for LGBTQ youth. They deny, they, they do these photo ops where they come to pride events, but how do you care about the LGBTQ community when there are no safe places for us to feel valid and important?